So, um, Nancy told me you called to see how she's doing. She's okay. She's calling me over a lot. We had her covered last night. But she did, I mean, I'll be honest with you. She was, like, flipping out last night. Like, I had to cover her and them and the other side because she was at everybody and they were all getting stressed out. So I'm trying to get her to be calm and play music. And she's starting to come around now. She's, um, I, we uncovered her door just now and she's been calling for us. So I think she was ready for that. We just try to follow her lead. At, but you see, like, she'll do that even when I'm not outside the door. But she will call too. Then he come. Hi. I think your mama would like to know how you're doing. But see if I open it, she wants out. But she's also upset. I can't come in, honey. I can't get hurt. I know. I know. It's awful. So we're doing our best. Typical Kaya, right? She's going to take a day. She hasn't eaten her breakfast yet. I can see that. See it. But remember last time it was that way too. So see what she comes up. She kind of wants to engage, but she's upset in her heart. Honey, do you remember we were friends last time? So I'm just trying to leave her be and not get in her face. And the other kitties are starting to get used to it. So it's not stressing him out anymore. So uh, that is the scoop. All right, and then I'm going to put back on the French Bistro music that keeps her calm. And nobody can hear the upset sounds. So... That will help. Nice calm music and um. Okay, Kaya, I'm gonna leave you be because you seem to like that better. So I don't know, it's funny, she calls you and then she doesn't like you when you come, but I'm sure she'll come around. So such is the life of the Kaya Kitty. Kitty Mill.